Assalamualaikum. Um, okay, this uh, video I will teach you about the chapter seven, industrial hydraulic circuits and applications. Okay, uh, this chapter is more on the practical base uh, knowledge. You have to practice and do by your own, uh, because uh, if not, uh, you are going have the difficulty to understand how to draw or make a circuit okay so uh, in this video I will go through a little faster uh, and then uh, in the next video uh, maybe in the next week uh, I will show you in details a tutorial how to draw the circuit for hydraulic systems but before that, uh, we have to know a little basics. Okay, uh, at the end of this video or this chapter, uh, you should have uh, the knowledge on the graphic symbols and also the basic circuit design and example of circuit applications. Okay, uh, as an example in this uh, diagram here. Okay. So, uh, as we know the drawing or schematic diagram or circuit diagram here is very important in industry or in any engineering applications because as an engineer we know that uh, when we design a system to translate uh, the system into uh, the implementation or development phase stage uh, the the technicians uh, will have uh, to read or to understand the circuit diagrams so uh, the circuit diagram for the hydraulic system uh, should be consist of pumps actuators uh, control valve and conductors or pipes or sometimes we use holes okay so uh, three important factors when analyzing or designing hydraulic circuit uh, first uh, that should be in your mind is the safety of the operation uh, performance of desired function yes we have uh, to know the function of our system and finally the efficiency of operations Okay, so let's say we see here in this diagram, uh, this is the, let's say we sketch uh, based on the uh, components and then you have to translate the sketch into the circuit diagram using the perspective symbol for the components. Okay. Uh, before this chapter, we already learned uh, a little bit of the symbol for every component in the hydraulic systems. So, in the circuit diagram chapter now, uh, the symbol will be very important. Okay, so uh, basically, in the uh, or in drawing, in the engine drawing. For the hydraulic system uh, we should have the schematic drawings component list sequence of operations so the schematic drawings and component list uh, component list uh, maybe you are already familiar during your engineering drawing subject uh, sometimes we call it a uh, bomb what we call uh, apa uh, senarai material kan uh, okay so the hydraulic circuit drawing must include all components and connections and also have to be logically arranged so it is possible to easily follow the operating cycle of the system okay so uh, for every drawing either in engineering drawing or uh, architectural building drawing the drawing itself must be under understandable okay so 
uh, easier to understand lah because uh, this is like a language uh, between engineers, workers, technicians, supervisors and every person that involved in the uh, design and development stage okay so when you draw so you are uh, responsible to make sure that all these persons uh, will understand your drawing okay your schematic diagrams okay so uh, this is just, just the basic uh, we skip this slide and then okay so here uh, maybe you are already familiar with some of the symbols uh, but uh, I recommend all of you to try to memorize uh, all the symbols and the, the uh, description or the function of that symbol that uh, will be very useful for you during your your drawing uh, stage or maybe in the test when you have to draw a schematic diagram okay so uh, here uh, let's look at on the lines and line functions if we have the okay continuous line like this so this is the working line if we have dot dot and uh, two of these dots uh, are different based on its size of the dot gap here and then it represents the difference function because uh, this one is for the line for the pilot and here is for the drain line okay if you have dot here uh, the black dot here so it means that it is the connector if we uh, let's say I have one host and two hosts connected so this is the connector represented by the dot okay okay so if we have the curve uh, line here means that it is the flexible lines okay so this one uh, we have the joining line we have dot here as a connector and if we do not have the connector but the line pass uh, by the yeah, the under the line uh, without connecting that line so you have to uh, use this symbol okay so everyone will understand that this line are not connected okay uh, this is also commonly found in the electrical uh, drawing and wiring drawing and so on okay so for uh, the to differentiate between the hydraulic and pneumatic lines uh, we have this symbol we have the arrow if the black arrow here with the black color in there uh, this is for the hydraulic okay and white arrow here it is for the pneumatic okay so here means that the reservoir so when the line goes to the uh, what we call this uh, C rotated C symbol here yeah right C like this so you rotate so you have like this but we have to okay like this this is the reservoir so this is the line so it means that line to reservoir above fluid level okay if it is not in the reservoir but if goes past until it reach the reservoir so it means that the below fluid level okay so there are so many many symbols uh, if you cannot uh, memorize all of the symbols uh, but make sure you can refer the symbols when uh, the times come uh, when you have to use that symbol in the schematic drawing okay so uh, uh, these are the examples of the uh, 
basic valve symbols. Uh, this are for the pumps, for the motors. Uh, this is the actuator. Uh, and maximum pressure relief valve, and so on. Okay. So there are a lot of the symbols. Uh, make sure you try to read by your own one by one, and then when the time has come when you have to uh, use the symbol you uh, have to refer back to this list of symbols okay so i will just skip and then uh, make sure you you go one by one for every symbols okay okay for circuit design example of circuit applications for each hydraulic circuit drawing in this chapter students must be able to okay all of this i don't want to read you have to read by your own okay so here yeah. okay in this chapter in this slide notes okay we have it one two three four five six seven and eight okay examples of the circuit applications so what i want you to do you read one by one okay make sure you understand words by words and you try to translate into the schematic drawing like this okay so here is the reservoir this is the pump and then this is the control valve this is the actuator so i want you to name every one of these components being based on its symbol and then you uh, try to visualize uh, the operation of the schematic diagram okay so make sure you try one by one for every one of these examples so there are eight examples here okay uh, okay so after you understand all these examples make sure you try to do the tutorials questions here okay because uh, in the test uh, normally the question in the test uh, is coming from the material question like this okay the same mm, similar la, similar to these questions okay so uh, I will not waste your time because uh, this chapter you have to read and to understand by your own if i just tell you one by one in this video you will uh, learn a little compared to you try to understand by your own based on these examples okay so next week i will uh maybe i will uh, create another video for this chapter if you have uh, difficulty in understanding uh in uh, for these uh, examples okay so let me know if you have the problems and i will try to answer your problems okay in the next video okay i think that's all for this video uh, make sure you try by your own uh, don't skip try one by one for every examples there are only eight examples okay i remind you again make sure you try one by one read uh, words by words for every example here okay that's all for today for this video okay uh, if you have another problem if you have uh, problems or uh, you 
you have yeah you have the problems let me know by asking me in the whatsapp group uh, okay so thank you assalamualaikum salam sejahtera and bye bye